Welcome back. Build the Enterprise D from Fan Home. Excuse my voice, I am fighting off a cold still. Pack 61. Yeah, I've been, this is going to be pretty raw footage right here. I probably won't do a lot of editing, but you know, at this point, I don't know. What the heck? Okay, that knife needs to be sharpened. <clears throat> Been cooped up in the house for a while with this because I don't want to spread around, but medicate it up. <laughs> you know the drill. It's missed one day of work. It is the weekend, so I get to spend my weekend cooped up in the house. Yay. <laughs> but, we well, got this. Let's do this. Take my mind off of it. While my meds are keeping everything at bay. What do we got here? Okay, so this... We're not going to use this till the next stage. So, set that aside. I love it when they do that. Here's the part you got to hang on to. <laughs> metal deck plate and we're gonna install a bunch of these escape pods so post up in the comments down below how many how many people could these escape pods hold I've seen a few different answers out there what do you guys have out there I think there was an upgrade to these at one point. And do you know about the dolphins? Roll these out. I don't know if I could preserve the virus that's making me sick within this build. I think it'll die off. I think it should be safe. <laughs> I don't think I need a Lysol on these parts. My hands are clean. I washed them. But I was just thinking about that randomly. That'd be crazy. Someone else gets a hold of this. That's dumb. That's a dumb thought. Anyway, which way do these go? I think the red line goes. Turn this light on. I don't know if that helps. <clears throat> These lights are always in the wrong spot. Um, I think it goes red line towards the outer edge of the ship. Is that right? I think so. I'm not doing any of the stickers or none of that stuff. My pods look how they look. Building this mostly as it comes you know you'll if you watch my vids you'll you'll see me complain about things with this one then you'll see me be happy about things overall <clears throat> I think I prefer like the vehicle type builds but this one is pretty massive undertaking fan home has it now I don't know you know, Eagle Moss started with it. Now that's kind of an issue. So I think Eagle Moss wasn't designing things quite as well as the Fan Home stuff that I've seen online. Like Fan Home, I think, has the R2-D2. And that thing looks pretty good. Not saying I'm going to do it. Because I have an R2-D2. It's like remote control. But <clears throat> it would have been cool. To have like Enterprise, like the refit Enterprise <laughs> or the Constitution class, and less of, less of these windows, that's for sure. But people would be still modding those out because something would be wrong with the Azteking or this, that, or the other. You can't win. Do what you're going to do on your particular build. Make it yours. And 
gently lay that down all my escape pods are in and looks like what are we doing here I install these things with some DM screws we got an R and an L so the R goes here on the right L goes there I mean, that's, I like that. DM screws. I can't get light where I want it, where it's not in my way. I'm not a professional here. This isn't World of Wayne. <laughs> I need to watch some of his vids. It's been a while. He fell off of my radar. You know, YouTube wasn't wasn't feeding them to. I'm subscribed, but they stopped feeding this stuff to me, and it's like it's like I manually have to go look up vids. And to be honest, I've been watching a lot of Jeep vids lately because I just got that Jeep. So, got a few things I want to do to it. Probably do some vids on that. This channel was never like a didn't originally start out a channel where I build little model things, but. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's the YouTube, right? So, always appreciate anyone watching, interacting. Unless you're being an a hole. I get a lot of a holes over here. <laughs> you may not see them because, you know, they seem to think when they post a nasty ass comment that. They're just posting it to everyone else. I don't know. But you're talking to me. I'm not a big channel, so. <clears throat> oh, I got an extra skate pod. Do I have them all in here? <laughs> I do. Alright, let's make sure. Okay, that looks right. Okay, so now we got this piece. This is what it looks like. Okay. I was wondering what this was going to look like. It's my first edge piece this is going on with some more DM screws it's going on like this just this camera it's weird because you know normally I have thick skin but it's weird like sometimes these comments it's like who are you talking to bub you think anyone's gonna see this comment ever? <laughs> nope. Half of them get filtered out by YouTube anyway. It filters out a lot of the ugly words, <laughs> the colorful metaphors. And sometimes it filters out stuff that's perfectly fine, and I'll I try to look at that spam filter or whatever anyway, those block comments, to see if I need to approve some. I do approve some. You know, every once in a while, some, even if it has a colorful, colorful, colorful metaphor in there, I uh, may approve it. Depends on the intent of it, you know. But, I mean, this ain't no, this ain't no uh, freedom of speech over here. It's basically at my house. <laughs> This ain't no news outlet over here. I don't know what we're talking about. I'm just delirious on these meds. But I need to just get to where I just don't care, you know, what people post. But I'm small enough now. I'm still, I try to read everything. Older videos, it's hard to go back and, because I don't even know what they're talking about sometimes. People don't realize a vid is, you know, five years old. Some vehicles in my vids I don't even have anymore, so I can't answer those questions. All right, that looks pretty cool. Um, should be uh, this thing. Okay, and then this. Because we need to come over here. Bum, bum, bum. And this little light. This thing. This clear piece. Oh, my nose is running again. All right, this bulb thing has to feed into this clear piece. There we go. 
that has little little nubbins on it one nubbin going there the picture the instructions show me flipping the saucer over I'm gonna try to avoid that I'm gonna try to feed it in if I can um, how is this gonna go oh it needs to go up it needs to go up in this part first oh, that's kind of a pain but, ah did I lose that oh don't lose it found it. I don't want to flip the saucer over. I may pull it to the edge. I may edge it. Do a little edging. Eric, don't get excited. Okay. That's back in. What I was going to do is because you want to feed it in here first then slide it up onto there. Maybe. Let's go macro with this. Maybe. I can lift this up. <sighs> I'm going to flip this over. I don't want to flip it over. I'm not flipping it over. We're going to do it the hard way. We're going to do it the hard way. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to have to flip it over because this don't make any sense to me. Okay, i got to flip this over. Damn it. Alright, maybe it's not going to be that big a deal. Oh, I just lost that piece again. See, I mean, why design something where you have to flip it over five million times? It's huge. You risk having to break it. And that piece keeps popping off. Alright, let's try this again. Back down. Plug this back in. Alright, so. It's got to fit up in there. In the bottom part first. I almost want to put a dollop of glue in there to hold this. You know what? I think I am going to do that because this is ridiculous. Do I have any glue? <sighs> of course not. All right, got a little, a little of this glue here from Harbor Freight. Maybe this will be the trick. Maybe it'll be my demise. I don't know. Ooh, this stuff's messy. I hate getting this stuff on me. Too much on it already. Just want just a little dollop in there. Try to avoid getting this on my fingers. I just don't need that aggravation right now. But at the same time, don't want to drop this again. Shit. dry okay let's try this again I put more glue on there to hold it in and I actually whittled away 
an edge here kind of beveled it because there's just not enough space for this cable to make its way out so hopefully this works now not working what's going on here It's not slotting into that hole in the bottom. Not sure why. Maybe I've got some glue or something. What a crap design! dry And finally, will it be enough? Will it be enough? Yes, yes, we finally got it smashed in there. Now if we can hold it in place. Now I gotta flip this beast over. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that big ass gap right there. No worries. What a piece of shit. Okay, maybe it'll close up with the when I screw this together. Let's calm down one step at a time. What are these FM screws? I do believe. Let's see if we can get one to find the hole. Finding a hole. Is that it? Yeah, don't worry about 
that gap. <sighs> okay, did we do it? I think so. <laughs> yes. What the hell? Let's flip it over. Just to be sure. Yes, okay, we did it. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, what I thought was going to be an easy kit, <laughs> turned out to be a tricky one at the end. The way those pieces are made, I hope they're all not like that. If so, I'm going to bevel out that edge, put a good dose of glue in there, let it dry. I'll probably let it dry longer because I squished that glue out, got it all over my fingers. Hate that. With that, pack 61 is done. I'm going to go grab a healthy dose of NyQuil and uh, maybe you'll see this vid <laughs> in the morning. Depends on when it knocks me out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, hanging out with me. Till the next one. Boom. We are edging. <laughs> Finally.